Hey, it's Jennifer, and I just thought maybe you'd like to meet our new producer, Glenn. So, hey, Glenn. Hi. Got a question for you. <laughs> okay. How does uh, how does it feel to go from news to now producing the Mike Trevisano show? It's very different, um, but it's pretty exciting, obviously. Uh, and the news experience really helps uh, because if we talk about an actual hard news story, which may not happen very often, but sometimes it does, um, I can come in from that perspective. And Triv is also, of course, a pretty fierce media critic. And having been... Um, a part of that and knowing what actually what I think and what WTAM thinks are best news practices, uh, a lot of times I can kind of be a fierce media critic too and I can say, well, Triv, he should have said this, this, and this in the report and that would have made it sound better or less confusing or whatever. So those scenarios have already kind of played out during the show if you've been listening. Yeah, yeah, well, that, that's happened so far. Anyway, uh, also, how do you think you're doing so far? Having fun, all that stuff? Uh, I'll tell you this. I've got one daily planner. I have two daily planners. <laughs> I have my Indian's calendar here that I keep at my desk. So that's basically three calendars there. Um, I've got a ton of new contacts in my phone. I've got two other like reporter notebooks that I can't find right now, but they're around here somewhere. Here's, <laughs> here's one of them. Um, and so it's a lot of note taking at this point. Um, Future planning, our big Coats for Kids benefit that's coming up in November. We're in the middle of planning for that. So uh, it's all very exciting. And I tell people this, and I guess sometimes they don't believe me or they're a little surprised or whatever. Once the show starts from like 3 to 7, that's kind of the easy part. It's, it's, it's everything, <laughs> everything before. <laughs> it's everything else, you know, all the show prep and the planning in general that uh, is, is a little more difficult. But I'm learning how to be more organized, let's put it that way. Good for you. Good for Thank you. Thank you. You also had to go through a little, I guess, trial before uh, you became a producer, if you don't remember. Well, the nice thing was, uh, even before the opening came up, mm -hmm. Triv liked to call on me or scream out of the studio, Glenn! <laughs> Glenn Forbes! I do recall that. Yeah, so I would... Uh, that chemistry or whatever was kind of developing for a while... And then since they that opening came up, it seemed like every day he was going to me for something. <laughs> Which so was very it was, funny. Yes, yeah, so it was kind of a, a little bit of a trial by fire and a lot of like auditions that were live on the air. <laughs> yes, <laughs> now, yes. And speaking of auditions, I have one to show you right now. Give it a shot. All right, go well, that story there. Where is your penis? More in 30 seconds. <laughs> Do you know where your penis is? It's 6.30. We'll tell you at 6.30. What do you I, think, Glenn? Well, I really hope Darren Toms isn't listening yes, right now. <laughs> but, uh, regard well, uh, yeah, uh, it's a very interesting story. You know, we need... What, uh, what, what, what we always need, guys, we always need the local angle. Do we have a local angle on this anywhere? at the GE Lighting Building today. U.S. Marshal Pete Elliott has announced the arrest of a fugitive accused of running a scam and collected millions of dollars in donations from people who believe they were helping U.S. Navy veterans. We are in so many different states pursuing this individual from Rhode Island to Arizona to Massachusetts to Indiana.